We started our training, and uh, I started off by blotting my copybook. I couldn't look at that Tarzan course, and I thought that looks good. So once I got settled in, and by the way, I was one of the unlucky ones, I got put in a tent, most of them was in Nissan huts, I was put in a tent with six other blokes, and uh, I walked across what was square, which was a muddy, because it was pouring the rain, it never stopped raining. And I tried to scramble next, it went straight up for about 40 feet. And I'm halfway up these necks and a voice said, get out, get out, what are you doing, get out. I got down and there's one of the instructors. I said, well, I've just arrived and I thought I'd, uh, have, you know, he said, don't worry about that, son, you'll be seen enough of that, you're going to get sick and tired of that. And that, that was my introduction to that they carry in a way. But then the uh, Lake Hawk Troop started training. They considered the basics, of course, like skill at arms, field craft, Right? Movement by day and night and all this. But in the commando way. Not as you do it in a, in a you know. So uh, they let you know as well. And most days it was wet. And it's coming up, this is winter. This is the period from September through like. And uh, we had a cookhouse in the morning. There was a dustbin outside. And it looked like pigs were in a dustbin. But we found out it was burgoo, as they called it, which is oatmeal, water and salt. Now, if you wanted something in your guts and you needed something, mate, I'll tell you, get your mess tin in there and have a mess tin full of that. That dustbin was empty, mate, cleaned. Anyway, the training went on relentless. There was no five-minute fag break or nappy break. You finished one period straight onto another, you know, and that was that. And you did that, and you did that, and you did that, and you got wet, and you crossed rivers, and you swam in the lake, and that, and he done field fine exercises, and you and you did assault landings with live ammunition. Live ammunition. There was people getting knocked over, and uh, it went on and on and on, relentless. And even sometimes you get to bed at night, and you you done what you could to dry your gear up and clean yourself up in the morning, because every morning, master prayed that you were inspected. And if they thought you hadn't got up to a certain standard, you, you, you're in trouble, you know. Anyway, we finished our training, and of course, we got posted to three commanders.